Chapter 3 Diabetic Ketoacidosis In this chapter, we will have an in-depth look at diabetic ketoacidosis, or commonly referred to as DKA. DKA is a severe diabetic complication which needs to be treated and managed in hospital. The onset of DKA happens as a result of high blood sugar and not enough insulin. The body starts breaking down fat at a rate that is much too fast. The liver processes the fat into a fuel called ketones, which causes the blood to become acidic. In the case of type 1 diabetes, DKA can be caused by infections such as pneumonia and urinary tract infections because they produce higher levels of hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, which counteracts the effects of insulin. Careful and faithful adherence to your insulin treatment regimen is crucial as poor treatment can lead to diabetic ketoacidosis. When your insulin treatment is interrupted by a blockage in the insulin pump, or particularly girls, realizes that not taking insulin can result in weight loss. DKA can also set in. The symptoms of DKA can slowly form over several hours or days. It is always important to keep an eye out for these telltale symptoms. Fatigue, because the body does not get glucose that is a fuel source. Excessive urination, as the excess glucose enters the urine, taking the body's water with it. Frequent thirst, dry mouth and dehydration sets in as a result of the urination. In children especially, abdominal pain can be experienced. The urine and or breath can have a fruity smell. The lack of glucose in the cells leads to fat breakdown and fast weight loss. Nausea and vomiting can set in and if left untreated for too long can result in confusion loss of consciousness, and a diabetic coma. If you suspect you might have DKA and exhibit some of the symptoms, you can do the following home tests to verify. Use your home glucose meter to test the blood glucose. If the blood sugar is more than 250 milligrams per deciliter, or 13.9 millimoles per liter, check for ketones in the urine using a test strip. If the strip shows ketones in the urine, you might be in DKA. If you suspect you or your child might have the risk of diabetic ketoacidosis, it is imperative to contact your doctor and get to an emergency unit or hospital ASAP. Diabetic ketoacidosis needs to be treated with intravenous insulin and fluids and you or your child needs to be closely monitored by medical caregivers. To minimize the chances of going into DKA, it is important to keep to your insulin treatment regimen. In times of infections, illness, stress and trauma, closer monitoring of blood glucose is a necessity. Have a look at some of the links at the end of this section for more information on DKA. In the next section, we will look at different insulins.